Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. It's our weekly visit with McHenry football coach Mike Babcock and coach the Bearcats. Got off on the right foot in Great Lakes Valley Conference play on Saturday, hosting William Jewell. Cats got out to a quick 14-7 lead, built that lead, held on for the 28-14 win. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that contest offensively. High-octane offense, a school record 97 plays, season-high 440 yards. And talk about the things you were able to accomplish on offense. That I think some of the big things that we saw in the game, uh, first and foremost, was big plays. You know, we were able to finally get some chunk yardage, and that's really what we've been missing the last couple games is, uh, you know, being able to get more than 10 yards on a run, get more than 20 yards on a pass. Uh, and I think some of the wide receivers and our quarterback were able to step up and uh, make some plays and, you know, finally be able to get those chunk yardage and those turns into points. And, uh you know, it was definitely a nice day uh, for them. Talk about the big plays. Brandon Wildman in his first home start for the Bearcats at quarterback had three touchdown passes, two of them going for at least 50 yards, a 68-yarder to Matt Cole in the first quarter that got the score and going for McHenry, and then Dalton Balster, a nice juggling catch and a 50-yard run for a TD in the second quarter. Absolutely. You know, it was nice to, to have our true freshmen come in and, and be able to throw the ball around a little bit, uh, you know, on point. And, you know, like I said earlier, just nice to see some of those wide receivers being able to step up and make plays. Um, it wasn't a perfect day offensively, you know, for sure, but uh, it was definitely nice to see some of those good strides. Defensively, another yeoman-like effort from the Bearcats, forcing three turnovers, two interceptions, a fumble recovery, a big pick by A.J. Wentland in the fourth quarter that really halted a scoring drive. It looked like William Jewell was going to pull within seven. But uh, he gets another 10 tackles. Nice day from Jabari Winston. Blake Benoist continues to impress. Talk about what the defense did on Saturday. You know, they, 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 they always handle their business. You know, I mean, it, pretty much anything they do, you know, they can, you know, do it very well. And that's what's nice is that we've got a lot of experience on that side. And they, and they play with a lot of passion and, and run around pretty good. And it was hot out there. It was definitely a, a hot game. And, and to see those guys be able to force William Jewell into 11 punts, you know, in the game and, and to hold them for, you know, William Jewell, I believe, was a 3 of 21 on third down conversion. So, uh, you know, those are some big time, um, you know, statistics and stuff. And, and also be able to get a couple takeaways out of the deal. So, uh, again, just another top-notch performance. You know, I thought A.J. played very, very well uh, in the game, um, had a lot of tackles, great interception. Uh, you, you had mentioned Jabari Winston, you know, they had said, you know, all right, we're going to take our shots, and, you know, he was ready for it and being able to shut down uh, the wide receivers. And then, you know, a couple other plays by a couple other guys, and it kind of came all together. One thing we didn't mention on the defensive side, six more sacks for the Bearcats. Now 23 on the season, they lead NCAA Division II, and this team has a knack of finding the opposing quarterback. You know, they do a nice job. It, it's fun to kind of watch them work, and, and it's not always just one guy. So it's not like an offense can just key up on one guy. And so, uh, you know, what's great about them is when you force teams to get into passing situations, they do a nice job of finding a way to get to the quarterback. And for the most part, it's just those four D linemen. So uh, we do believe but if those four guys can get to the quarterback just themselves, it, it means you're pretty good. The most important thing, you go 1-0 on the week, you get that win, start off Great Lakes Valley Conference with a victory. The road doesn't get any easier this Saturday as you head to Bolivar, Missouri. It's a battle of the Bearcats, McHenry, and Southwest Baptist. This is a team that has 4-0 on the year. They've won their first two conference games against some rather good opponents. They took on Indianapolis, the four-time defending champions, beat them by four at home, then go to Quincy who has a pretty stout offense, one by 17 at that place. Talk a little bit about what you've seen from Southwest Baptist on film I so mean, far. This is by far the best team that we've played. Uh, you know, they're, they've they got a lot of votes in the, the top 25 poll. You know, if you kind of keep it going, they're actually ranked 27th, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, you know, offensively, they are a high-powered offense. They lead pretty much every statistical category on offense for the Great Lakes Valley. Um, you know, they've got a great quarterback, a great running back. Uh, they do a lot of nice things on offense, which I think is great. Um, and then also on defense, I mean, they play with their hair on fire. They play with passion, they run, they hit. Um, and they do it uh, extremely well. So at the end of the day, this is going to be a huge test for us on the road against a very stout team. Uh, it's going to be uh, a great challenge for us. You talk about their running back, a quarterback, quarterback T.J. Edwards, running back Bubba Jenkins near the top of the league statistically in, in those categories. And those are guys that the Bearcats have faced before. It's not like they're new players for Southwest Baptist. And you've gotten a look at them before, so that's got to be a little bit comforting, especially for a defense that's as stout as McHenry. You know, they, 
they've done a very nice job. And these guys aren't seniors yet. You know, I mean, they still, you know, they're they're fairly young on the offensive side, uh, but they're getting up there, and so they're they're definitely a threat. You know, I think their quarterback does an extremely nice job of being able to keep the play going. Um, he's got great st statistics when it comes to not just completion percentage. You know, he has, I think, roughly around 250 yards a game throwing the ball, but he also rushes the ball for 60 yards a game. So that's kind of a dual threat that we've got to be ready for. And not to mention the quarterback, but when you get a running back that can run the ball for 140 yards a game, um, it puts a lot of pressure on teams. I mean, last week they ended up rushing the ball for 300 yards uh, against Quincy. And so... Uh, like I said, this is a very, very stout offense, and uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us. And you've talked about their defensive uh, alignment. Uh, this is their third year in the league, a team that we've seen steadily get better defensively, and that has really shown so far this year. Absolutely. You know, they really do play with their hair on fire, and it starts up front. I think they've got a great defensive line. Um, I mean, they're three technique, number 55. I mean, he's 6'6", 310 pounds. I mean, this guy is big, plays with his hands, and, and I think he's probably one of the best defensive linemen in the league. Um, and then the rest of the guys, you know, you watch them last week against Quincy. Um, they were hard-hitting, they were physical, and they ran to the ball. And it looked like they had fun. They played with a lot of swagger uh, last week against Quincy. And so it's going to take all 60 minutes, you know, of our offense being able to continue to drive the ball, get first downs. Third downs are going to be key for our offense and finding a way to get points on the board. Should be a very interesting battle on Saturday. Coach, good luck. Appreciate it. Don't forget, you can catch the broadcast of the McKendry Southwest Baptist game live on the Bearcat Sports Network at glvcsn.com slash McKendry. Pre-game show at 145, kickoff at 2. Don't forget to join us again.